Hi, I'm Kim Abbott with HorseChannel.com. Welcome to Grooming College. Today we're going to talk about the grooming process and what you should have in your grooming kit. Let's start with what you'll need in your grooming kit. You'll want a curry comb or a curry mitt. You'll also need a hard brush, a medium brush, and a soft brush. You'll want a paddle brush or a wide tooth comb for your horse's mane and tail. You'll need a hoof pick to clean out the dirt, ideally with a brush on the back. When you get ready to bathe your horse, you'll want a small face sponge, a large body sponge, and some large bath towels. Some other tools you might want are a metal pulling comb to shorten and thin your horse's mane. You'll want some coat polish spray to bring out a shine. You'll also want some detangler for your mane and tail and you might want some spot removal for the white markings. One of the most important steps of the grooming process is picking out your horse's feet to get rid of any debris, stones that might be in there and causing discomfort. Start by running your hand down your horse's leg to check for any heat or swelling. Hold the hoof in your left hand and the hoof pick in your right hand and start gently picking out the dirt from the heel to the toe. When you're finished, you can use the brush to get rid of any extra dirt. You might want to start the grooming process at your horse's mane because any dirt in his mane will fall on his coat. If he has a short mane, just take your paddle brush and run through it to get rid of the snarls. If you're trying to maintain a long mane, you might want to run your fingers through it first to get rid of the tangles to minimize hair loss and breakage. Currying your horse promotes circulation and gets rid of all the dirt and dander. Start at your horse's neck in a circular motion using as much pressure as your horse will tolerate. Some of them like a lot of pressure, others are a little more sensitive. Work your way down the neck, along your horse's back and around his body. You can also use the grooming mitt on the sensitive parts of your horse's legs. When you're finished currying, you'll use your medium or stiff brush to get rid of the dirt and dander that you brought up. Again, start at your horse's neck and work your way back. Use short, quick strokes, flicking the brush up at the end of each stroke to get rid of the dirt and dander. Use discretion when choosing your brush. Some horses prefer a medium brush. Your stiff brush will be really good for your long winter coats. Follow your medium or stiff brush with a soft brush using long, even strokes to get rid of any last fine dust or dander. You can also use the soft brush on your horse's sensitive face and legs. To get rid of grass and manure stains, you'll want to use a spot remover. Spray it on, massage it in, and then wipe it off with a towel. When it's dry, you can go back and brush it again to bring out the shine. Maintaining a long, thick tail can be time consuming, but you'll be happy with the results. Start with a mane and tail detangler and ideally let it dry first. Use your fingers to run through the tangles and minimize any hair breakage. The next step is to take your wide tooth comb, starting at the ends and slowly working your way up. Start with a small section of hair at a time. Use a damp cloth to wipe the dirt out of your horse's nostrils and around his eyes. Ideally, you want to groom your horse before every ride. Even if you can't ride, grooming will help you get used to his behavior and mood so you can notice when anything's wrong and might warrant a call to the vet. It also gives you time to bond. Mm -hmm.